Today's tech tip brings us back to our favorite tool in the shop, the engine dyno. Now we've already shown you the basics of its operation and how to decipher some of the information off the dyno sheet. Well today we're going more in depth on how the dyno measures how much fuel goes to the engine and how we can use that information to tune for maximum horsepower and torque. Our dyno gives us the opportunity to optimize an engine's performance before it gets dropped between the frame rails of a vehicle. By measuring the amount of fuel the engine consumes versus the amount of power it makes is one of the first things we look at when it comes to tuning. The dyno measures fuel flow by this turbine that is in line between the fuel pressure regulator and the carb's inlets. Now it gives a reading on a dyno sheet of total fuel flow in pounds per hour. So why is that important? Well, on racy engines like we work on, it takes roughly a half a pound of fuel to make one horsepower for one hour. Now, that will absolutely vary on the application and efficiency of the power plant. But for us gearheads, it's a good benchmark. And we went ahead and made a pull on this engine earlier to show you what those numbers are. That number is shown on the dyno sheet expressed as brake specific fuel consumption, or BSFC. The fuel flow is measured and the dyno calculates a BSFC number throughout the entire dyno run. The number given is used to adjust the fuel curve of the carburetor. Now combined with the spark plug reading and the condition of the exhaust port, a tuning call can be made. Now the higher the BSFC number, the richer the engine is running. The lower the number, the leaner the engine is running. On the type of engines we build, the range of the BSFC number is from the low 0.40s to just over 0.5 when it's running good. But keep in mind, every engine will require you to find out where it wants to be. Too lean of condition can damage pistons and too rich of condition will wash down cylinder walls. Both will cost you power and both can be damaging to your bullet. The horsepower and torque tells the tale along with careful observation of your parts during testing. There's a lot of other important and useful information on a dyno sheet, and we'll get to that at a later time. Now, the reason we're sharing this information with you is we want you to get your engine on a dyno. They're not that hard to find, but dyno time can get a little expensive. And bringing you up to speed on things like BSFC helps educate you on what goes on during a proper dyno tuning session. And knowing these things ahead of time makes it a lot easier to ask questions, but also makes it a lot easier to lay down that big cash for dyno time so your engine will run at peak performance.